Oh, it's through his skull. No wonder he's pissed. Absolute pleasure to have you tune in for another tasty fishing treat from the Minnow Man. So before we get into the fishing action, a couple of people messaged me wanting some information on the setup I'm using. So I thought I'd go into that real quick. And basically what I'm using is a Shimano Corrado DC. It's got a 50 pound braid. Attached to that is a um, either a Spro or a KVD frog. I think that's a KVD frog. And I use a Dobbins 7'6 heavy flip rod. It's basically really sturdy. I used to use 100% spinning setups and then I tried the Shimano Corrado and I'm like a complete bait caster convert. It is so much fun and this setup is like the best for setting. Like I have yet to miss a hook set on a fish. I've had them fall off at the bank on the hooks, but the hook set themselves, this is a solid snakehead setup. So anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in a minute. Oh, there's somebody's going for it. Oh, it's a little one. Oh, we got one, we got one, finally. Finally, we got one. Oh, look at this thing. It's tiny, it is tiny. It is tiny, but we got him. And he inhaled that. Wow, look at that. He inhaled it, he inhaled it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this out. Look at that, holy moly. He's got some teeth on him. This guy's got some teeth on him. Let's pull the frog up the skirt. There we go. Oh, there we go. He's not too bad. He is not too bad. I gotta go. Down and up. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm gonna take a photo of this one. Finally got one. It's taken us about two hours. Oh, look at this guy. Get him on there. Under there. He's tiny. He's only about like two, two pounds, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Bullseye snakehead. It's a little guy. He was cool, so cool how we saw him just like dart out from the from the grass to nail the frog. And he's away. I've been going three hours, and that is the first fish I got on, man. Persevere. Persevere, man. All right, we're gonna keep going, see if we can catch any more, see if we can catch any big ones. One I just lost was huge compared to that one. I'm probably sweaty, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm dehydrated, and I have nothing to cure any of those problems, but fish on. Last couple of casts. So we're in the same spot we were having some success before. Last couple of casts down here before we do the ooh, monster walk back. It's gonna take me about an hour to walk back to where I came from. I'm so dehydrated, I'm tired, I'm hungry but I need to catch another snakehead. A few moments later. What? Oh my God, there's a giant one there. There's a giant one, just there's a giant one, there's a giant one, there's a giant one. He's looking for stuff. Oh, he's going for it, he's going for it, he's going for it. He's gonna see me stay so still. He's seen me. Oh, bugger. I don't know if you can see him down there. I'm gonna wind this up. The moment he starts backing away, Oh, oh my god, he's ginormous. Oh my god. Oh, that was no fight at all. Look at that. That that's the biggest one I've ever caught in my life. The biggest one ever in my life. Oh, I'm about to get in trouble. Oh no. Oh, he is massive. He is monster. He is ginormous. Ah, he cut me on the braid. He cut me on the braid. He hit that spro so hard. This is where I hope the spro. <sighs> wow, he's massive. There you go. No, oh, he spat it out. Awesome. That's a huge fish. That is a monster. 
That is an absolute monster. He's a good six, seven pounds. Yeah. We're gonna go let him go before that lady gets angry at me. But that is the biggest snakehead I've ever caught. I gotta get a photo. Where's my phone? Where's my other phone, my good phone. He's monstrous. He is a monster. Oh, there's a child abducted, but that's not gonna stop me taking a photo of my snakehead. He is huge. Ah, ah. Alright, let's, let's just let him go. Let us let him go. He is, he is, he is a nice snake. He is like, I'm gonna give him like five pounds, five, six pounds. Nice, alright. Here we go. And away he. That fish was worth the walk. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a snakehead right there. He's gonna go for it, he's going for it. Oh, and he's on. Oh, and in the boat. Oh, oh. Actually, we're gonna just tire him out. I don't wanna deal with him while he's all knackered. Let's let him get a bit exhausted. That was so cool, you saw him chasing it and bam. Are you done yet? You done, mate? Just want to chill him out a little bit so he doesn't flop around on the so he doesn't flop around on the grass. I want him to chill out a little bit. He's got another kick coming in. You got another kick? A little spin. There we go, and he's done. Oh look at that. He's like a nice two, three pounder. Oh, he um. He nailed it. He nailed it. He killed it. Alright. Let me see how we're gonna get this out. Do we pull the frog up? Up, oh, there we go. That helped a little bit. I don't the grade. Ah! Almost. Oh, I don't want to go in your eye. I don't want to go in your eye. A common, a common injury for snakeheads. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's out there, he's out in his way. Oh, and he's gone. And he's gone. Alright guys, we are at our last stop of the day. I'm refueled, had a good diet of a can of spaghettios and Gatorade. So I'm refueled, however, six hours of walking around in heat has given me a uh, really bad, what can only be described as crotch rot. And walking is rather painful. Oh, oh yeah, we're on, oh, we're on, we're on. Oh, it's shopping cart, it's on the shopping cart. Oh, 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 straight away, straight away. Oh, he fell off, he fell off. It counts, it counts, it counts. It counts. That was a long line release. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, it's taking line. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh no, I think he spat it. Oh no. Oh, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on. He's still on. Oh, yeah. oh look at that one, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that, oh my God. Low battery as well. Look at the size of this guy. Give you size of my hat. Alright. He's gonna kick. Oh there's nothing going on over there. Alright. So we're gonna let this guy go. What a shot.
Firstly, I just want to say a big thank you to anyone who got this far, because I know you could be doing a ton of other stuff with your time, and I appreciate that you've you know stuck in with the video this long. You are a true warrior. Regarding today, to recap, we caught a bunch of snakehead. I think I had my two biggest snakeheads I've ever caught. They were both about that five, six pound mark, and I know a lot of people catch giant ones, like 10, 11, 12 pounds. For me, my biggest, you saw it today, about six pounds. Great fun, and the main reason why I love fishing for them with topwater frogs, as you can see them on the clips, you actually see the snakehead coming for it, and then it grabs it. And that's just the best part of topwater frog fishing. I know spinner baits catch them, chatter baits catch them, but that topwater frog hit, amazing. Um, it's a little bit windy now, so I apologize if the audio isn't great. But we've got about like about 40 subscribers left before we hit that 200 mark. And then when we do, we're gonna do another giveaway. And sadly, I'm not giving away an awesome Rick and Morty t-shirt, but I will be giving away an awesome bait that I use and I catch fish and you see me catch fish with it in my videos. So please stay tuned. If you like this video, please subscribe. I think the subscribe button somewhere, we're gonna go here. And other than that, see you next time. Bye.